Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So guys, I'm here doing your lunchtime reading, okay? I'm super jazzed that you like it as much as I do. Um, it's a really fun reading and at the end of the reading, I've got your fortune cookie, right? So we're going to read your fortune. Anyway, this reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, the subscribes. You know, you guys, are, you give me so much love out here. Thank you so much for all of it, okay? And for those of you new to the channel, welcome. Um, this is where I get to not just um, give you confirmations of the signs, right? Calling out the signs, but also I get to maybe um, confirm it a little more by telling you maybe what you're having for lunch, okay? <laughs> it's your lunchtime reading, so kick your feet up, right? Relax, you know, enjoy your reading. All right, Divine, what do you have for my beautiful collective? messages for the collective please okay somebody's about to come in and give you an offer maybe oh wait a minute no i'm getting the sense that this person is talking to somebody about you and possibly asking them to come in and talk to you for them <laughs> yeah you're in the star energy okay um, you could be out in the public eye, you could have your own platform, you know, here you are living a life of peace, right? Um, peace, tranquility, and all of a sudden somebody's got this little plan to come up and shake up your peace, all right? Um, yeah, there may be even more than one person that wants to come in and talk to you because they feel like this masculine here, they feel like, um, they're not gonna they're not gonna tell you everything that they need to tell you correctly so they're asking somebody else to do it uh, that maybe you won't even give them a chance right um to talk they're worried about this you know they see you in this peaceful state right um you could even be like i said you could be in the public eye you could be a public speaker you could have a public platform they're seeing you in star energy okay um and they're they're wanting also somebody to come in and just see if this can be healed so somebody is going to kind of it's going to be sort of sneaky i feel um, this is definitely somebody that you know, somebody you could be close to, um, but they're coming in just kind of to, I feel like they're just wanting, wanting to get some information from you, okay? Um, kind of trying to just find out if you will give this person another chance, if you're at all still interested, if you feel the same way about them. Um, yeah, someone else is about to approach you here. And it's going to be tricky. Like, they're going to be asking you kind of weird questions, okay? Be careful who you give your information to. I feel like this person needs to come in and do this on their own. But they're sending someone else. Um, you're Right now, you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. And you may even tell this person coming in to talk to you, you may tell them that you're good on your own, that you're happy being single, nobody's messing with your head this way you've got your you you have your peace um you um your life is calm you're not you're not being toyed with you've got your focus you're focusing on growing your your own abundance here if you have your own platform if you're working online it's becoming very successful you're just focused on this and i feel like that's what you're gonna say I'm just focused on my own life right now, my abundance, my business, my craft. Okay, I don't, I really don't have time for, um, and look, I feel like too, I feel like Queen of Wands energy, you're in your power and you're blocking um, this person out. No communication. This person coming in, they may ask you, how does it feel not, you know, like, are you still sad not speaking to this person, you know? They may even, like, bring up their name or something just to get the conversation started. They're coming in fishing for info is what they're doing. 
fishing for info to see how you feel, if there's any kind of chance at all. Will you ever speak to this person from your past again? Okay, and I feel like you're, like I said, you're good on your own, collective. You're taking control of your own life here. Um, you may be enthusiastic about future plans. Try not to say anything to anybody about it. You know, because this person is coming in, fishing you for info to take it back to this person from your past. Okay? And I feel like this person from your past has played you. They've got or they've had other options in the past. They were dipping their chicken strips into whatever dip they could find. Okay? So they were entertaining other people. You could have actually other options around you, but I'm feeling like it's it's this person from your past, okay? And you're you're closing the door on that. This person made you feel very used, okay? Very betrayed. You may tell this other person this, this page. You may tell them this, okay? But um, yeah, I feel like you're closing the door on this connection. You're done. You're sick and tired of being used by other people walked all over, treated like a doormat, taken advantage of, you're tired of it. And you're taking control back. You're taking control of your own life. Okay? Um, but yeah, they're going to be asking you a whole lot of questions. Each one of these little things here is a question they're going to ask you just so they can take the information back to this person. And they're going to be feeling the pressure, waiting for this, waiting for the answers. Okay? You may even tell this person that um, if, if your ex wants to talk to you, they need to talk to you themselves. Okay? That's going to put the pressure on. Keep that pressure on them. You know what I mean? Don't give this other page any, any kind of answers besides, you know, I'm good on my own. That's, you know, I feel like that's what you will tell them. I'm really focused on my abundance and growing my business and making my money. Okay, I'm not going to be used anymore. I'm done with that. You could be eating tacos for lunch. Okay, you could be eating a bag of chips or just drinking some water. You could be an Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini. Yeah, you could be a Scorpio as well. I feel like when this person hears what you um, what you have to say about this, they're going to have a tower moment. I'm kind of getting the sense that there's a tower moment coming here. Also, with all of the people that this person has been with, they may even have an STD. I'm looking at this mess here and the word donor down here. So they could have even caught an STD from someone. I feel like when, when this person hears the news, they're going to be upset and they're going to feel like a complete fool. See the donkey down here? They're going to feel like a fool. Okay, because they've, they've ran out of time. This has taken them too long. Yeah, I'm getting that this is a twin flame soulmate connection here, but you're making a decision when it comes to love and I feel like um, you may even be wanting to do some kind of cord cutting here on this with the two of swords, with this knife. You could be eating um, um, a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup today. That sounds yummy, or doesn't it? They're going to be all up in their emotions when they hear about this. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Taurus, Aries. You could be a Gemini. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This is a cycle that's come to an end. And I feel like your decision has already been made. You don't want to be used again. You don't. You're not about to let this ex use you again. Okay? Um, yeah... And I feel like right now the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor because of this decision, because of your focus. You're keeping your focus on yourself and your, uh, and your future 
and your abundance and stability, okay? And I feel like you have new love coming in. I'm just seeing this as new love. Okay, you've got a new soulmate connection. You could be enjoying a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm feeling this high priestess kind of energy off of this as well. You're extremely intuitive. Yeah, especially with the Queen of Cups coming out. Um, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like they should have never put you in any third parties here. Yeah, and the, all this person does is, I feel like this person is a player, but now they want to come back around with you. And they're too cowardly to come forward on their own. They could be doing a lot of drinking, right? They want to apologize here, maybe give you some kind of offer. But, um, and with the three X's, I feel like, they they want to leave other people behind of course especially if they've caught an std so there's a lot of endings in their life as well right now okay and there's a really long road ahead of them though they need to do their work they may be feeling extremely emotional okay this is a lot of emotion off this person when they hear this news when this page goes back to this ex and tells them what you said, I feel like this person's going to be crying. I really do. They missed their chance. You know, they missed their chance here. And I feel like um, if they have an STD, you're probably the only one um, here in this situation that's actually clean, okay? You don't have an STD. I'm actually getting the sense that... Um, you may even be celibate. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be having some strawberries and whipped cream for lunch today. That sounds good too. Yeah, I feel like this person, you know, they're going to get this information from this page and uh, it's going to bring them a lot of clarity. I'm getting the sense that they're going to be angry, upset, tearful, right? Um, they're going to be crying over this, but they're going to realize that you don't feel the same way about them that you used to. All right, I'm seeing no emotion here. Um, so, yeah, and you don't want to be any kind of side item. Yep, and uh, you you want a king of pentacles, okay? You want somebody who's going to be solid for you, who's going to want to commit to you. You want somebody who's get, who's who's able to be serious, um, who's not going to leave your side. And I feel like that's what's coming for you in the future. You're about to get a king of pentacles energy. Oh, yeah. Yes, you are. I'm getting the sense that you're about to get an emperor here. You could be having burger, a burger for lunch or um, spaghetti for lunch. <laughs> you could be a Taurus, Aries. But you're about to get new love here coming in because you're making this decision and you're being really honest about it. And you're using your intuition. You're going to know that this page is coming in fishing for info to take back to this person. So I feel like you're going to handle everything correctly here. Okay, yeah, they've just been with too many people. You don't know who they've been with, okay, this ex. You don't know who they've been with. You don't trust this person, okay? I feel like you need somebody who's going to be honest with you. Yeah, you don't, and I, I, honestly, you may already know that they've got some STD or they could, it's a mess, and you don't want to, yeah, and look, as I say that, the hot mess is on the bottom of the deck. Um, you don't want to get wrapped up in any kind of karmic BS. Not anymore. You know, now you're holding out for the real deal. Somebody who is going to be solid for you and loyal to you and want to commit to you. Someone grounded, someone stable, 
not somebody who's out here hitting bars, doing a lot of drinking, and picking up whoever they want, okay, and acting a coward. That's This is a cowardly way of doing it, is sending someone else in to talk to you. And this is a page energy that they're sending in. This could be your child or somebody way younger, somebody that you that they think you're going to see as harmless okay so i mean it may be tricky but i feel like once this page starts asking you some questions you're going to realize that they were sent in to fish for info okay and you're not dealing with somebody um who's going to keep continue to have side items you're you don't want you don't want somebody who's immature this is going to be this x you see is immature and they're never going to stop their playing around. That's how you're going to see this person. Yeah, you you deserve somebody stable and grounded for you. And that's what you're going to be waiting for. And that is coming in with this Wheel of, of Fortune. The universe is bringing this in for you. Okay. All right. So what else can you show me here for my beautiful collective? Yeah, this is a deal breaker. This is where you um, end this connection. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna reject them before they even <laughs> before they even take it take a step towards you. Um, but you're gonna do it politely. Okay, you're you're gonna be nice and uh, kind of sweet about it because this this page coming in, you're gonna realize they were sent in by somebody else. It's really not their situation. So you're not going to be taking it out on anybody, but you're going to be totally honest about it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like um, this page is going to be kind of nervous and shaking as they leave, leave you um, to go take this info to someone else. This is what they're doing. There they are in this little ice cream truck. They may pull up in a car that's that's blaring a lot of music, okay? So I'm seeing this as maybe a teenager, something like that. They're only fishing for info. You give them the only the info that they need, okay? And then they leave the scene nervously, okay? Because they know, yeah. No more third parties for you. No more third parties for you. You want the real deal here. Okay. Yeah. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I just feel like a lot of emotion off of this person. Yeah. I feel like you, you know what? You want you want somebody who's going to be your person, who's going to want to commit to you, okay? Who's going to see you as being the only one, the only one. I'm telling you, that's the, you, there can only be one, you know? You're not going to be getting into any third parties. All right, what else can you show me? And if this ex wants to talk to you about it, they're going to have to talk about it, you know, talk to you themselves, not send somebody else in to do it for them. Yeah, you're turning cold on this connection. You're done with it, and you're reaching for a new beginning. Okay, that's it. This is the end to a cycle here. You know, and this is like a huge show of cowardly, right? Cowardness, right? Um, that's going to completely turn you off too because you're going to need somebody who's going to be strong for you, defend you, stand up to you, you know, stand up for you, right? Um, you want somebody who's, you want an emperor or a king of pentacles. That's what you want. And this person, they're coming through as a page even though they're in king of cups energy. Um, yeah, but they're the king of sides, right? King of wands energy. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, you're done with this. You're done. 
And now after this, you close out the cycle, that wheel of fortune starts turning. You're going to get new love, the kind of love that you deserve. And um, yeah, you're taking yourself to calmer waters here. Um, you're moving forward. You're moving on. And you're going to be putting all of this in all of this in the past where it belongs to start a new future a brand new beginning for yourself i feel like this is kind of a test for you um, of discernment right how you handle yourself in this conversation right and your decision here how you speak your truth this is a big test but it's a test that you're going to pass okay this is a test that you're going to pass. All right, so let's see what your fortune is, okay? <laughs> fortune cookie time. Okay, here we go. A new relationship is about to blossom. You will be blessed. I'm telling you, a new relationship is coming in for you. It is. You, will, you are going to be loved, okay? Um, yeah, so you know that you're, you're about to get the kind of love that you deserve. Stand your ground, collective. Don't give out too much information either to this person, okay? Because your ex really doesn't deserve it. You know, they don't. They're still playing the field, I feel. Um, and they're doing something tricky here, okay? So, yeah, just uh, I feel like you're going to hold out for your emperor, for your king of pentacles, and that love is coming in, okay, with this new cycle. And your lucky numbers are 4, 18, 27, 34, 41, and 46. Now, I always say if you add all of that together and break it down numerology style, this will give you some kind of clue um, or some kind of information as to the kind of path that you're on now, what you need to know about it, okay? You can break the numbers down and look up that number and the meaning of that number, and um, you can Google it, and the, the, it'll tell you, okay, what you need to know to keep moving forward the right way, all right? So anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for your quick lunchtime reading. Um, you could be having sushi for lunch or maybe breakfast for lunch. You could be enjoying an iced tea right now. Yeah. Anyway, my darlings, um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.